Hey guys, I'm Alex from Zaxworks, and in this two-part tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make wireframe materials inside of 3D Pro Animator. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, in this first part, we are going to learn how to make the material, apply it to a couple objects, and over get the overall feel of what's going on. So, let's start off. Come up here, we'll create an object, create 3D primitive, and select a sphere. Now, we'll zoom into our object. We're going to come over here to our material editor, and this is where we're going to create our wireframe material. So first off, let's go ahead and click this plus button to get a new shader, and then change our color shader to a grid shader. And now, we get this grid editor. Make sure you have your preset set to default, and we're going to take our fill opacity and turn that down. So we don't have any uh, opacity of the fill. We don't want it. We want to be able to see through the object. Right now, the line spacing, all that, we're just going to leave that for now. Click OK, and now we have our material. Now we'll hold down the Option key, we'll drag it onto our object, and boom, there we go. We can take our scale, we can reduce that to get more lines, and now we see we have these nice wireframe lines going on. However, we cannot see through our object. How are we going to see through our object? Well, we need to turn off the background color. All this uh, gray color is right here is the base color. You take this base color, change the color, you can see it's just that color right there. So all we have to do to get rid of that is turn this little checkbox off, and boom, there you go. Right now, now we see we have this cool wireframe material. You can see through your object, looks really cool. Boom, done, already made the nice material. However, I wanna show you how easy it is to manipulate this guy. So number one is I'm going to apply this to some text as well. So first off, I'm gonna delete my object, hit the delete key. I will then come up to track uh, object, create 3D text, type in the wire, take my text, I'm gonna decrease my letting push those guys together. Go ahead, click OK, view front to view the front of our objects, and now here we go. Hold down the Option key again, drag your material onto your object, and now we have our material on our object. Cool, that's the first step. Next step is to make this look a little bit better. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to decrease the size of our lines. Do that by double clicking in our grid shader again, going to come up here to line width and you see you can change the line width and this is cool too you can have thinner lines going horizontally and thicker lines going vertically or vice versa whichever way you want um, this gives you a lot of freedom with your wireframe lines so we're just going to start off we're going to do one for each the width and the height or the width for vertical and horizontal and then i'm going to change my color let's go ahead and give it more of a turquoise color i'll take my eyedropper tool and select that guy and so I have the same color and good that's all I want to do go ahead and click OK and you'll see it updated automatically on my text now what I want to do let's zoom in here and I want to see it's sort of hard to read our text right now because there's one material being applied to the entire object that's a problem because there's these small little bevels on the side however in order to fix this, I want to get a line that goes all the way, traces around my each and every object. And we'll do that just by creating some material splits down here. So first off, let's go over to materials, create a new material, zoom into our object, take our eyedropper tool, and select one of the greens. Boom, now we have our material. Now, I'm going to take the material, drag it into dock number two, and then come into our material splits and create a couple of material splits. So one's going to be right there and one right here to create a line right there and then one at the front to create a line at the front of our bevel. Then we'll take our dock number two, we'll apply that there, zoom back in and apply it for our second line and there you go. Now if you see what happens is we have these lines that trace around our object. It makes it a lot easier to read. So when I do view front again, it looks a lot nicer and a lot easier to read. Um, I can just adjust some of these guys again too. I can take my scale and reduce that down a little bit, give it some more lines, make it look a little bit cooler, and there you go. Now right there I have some good looking wireframe material on some text and it's very easy to read. So that's it for part one. That's all we're gonna cover. In our next part, I'm gonna show you some more advanced tricks on how to make this cool material look even cooler. I'll see you soon. 